good morning Tuesday. I didn't vlog yesterday, very, very, very bad. Sorry. Um, we just got back yesterday from um, Wells Next to the Sea in Norfolk. So we just drove for like three hours, came back, had a roast and just properly chilled out. And when you're with so many people all the time, it's a busy environment, isn't it? So we were like, oh, it's quiet, isn't it? We weren't even speaking to each other. We were just like, ah. just watching TV. It was really nice. Um, but yeah, had a gorgeous weekend with James's family. Um, and so yeah, just properly chilled yesterday. Then today, I'm gonna go meet my friend Monique for a coffee. And then I'm meeting my friend Brittany for lunch. And then, <gasps> it's the H&M dinner tonight and we're going to Petersham, Petersham Nurseries and it's to launch the new Conscious Collection and it is gorgeous. So we'll have a presentation of that. Big, beautiful dinner and there's absolutely loads of my mates going so I'm so happy. Uh, so yeah, just got like a couple of bits to do today like drop my film camera in, do a bit of editing, but I'm pretty much up to date. I did loads of work yesterday when I came back as well because being away for the weekend, I was like, eh, I haven't done anything. Uh, so yeah, really gorgeous day ahead and I'll take you along today and I'll take you along tonight as well because it's going to be so pretty at Petersham. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all all right and you've had a gorgeous weekend yourselves. And yes, it's supposed to be really nice weather this week, so let's keep our fingers crossed. Oh, just having coffee with the girls for Brittany. And money! <laughs> <laughs> That's so close! <laughs> Hello everyone! I'm back from being out for lunch and seeing the girls, uh, Brittany and Monique. Um, so we just went for a coffee and just had a bit of a shop around. It's gorgeous, like 18 degrees today, so we were just like, yeah, just taking our time. Shot a couple of things for each other, it was lovely. So I've got quite a bit of work to do now. Um, had some gorgeous jobs. Um, confirmed today which I'm really excited about um, and yeah I'm getting picked up in about two and a half hours for the H&M dinner so I need to decide what I'm wearing I think I know but I'll show you when I've got dressed um, but yes I'm just gonna do some quick work and then get myself ready I just want to show you quickly this um, body from Urban Outfitters I think it's like 14 quid I'll link it oh, they've still got it it's like ribbed oh there's hair everywhere I, you obviously know I've got no boobs but it's great for me don't have to wear a bra it's got like I don't know. I'm going to do this then. This? Yeah. It's got like no back. Can you see? Yeah, no back, like shoestringy. Um, quite low. And then it's just this rust ribbed colour. I just think it's a really good springy summer basics. I've just got like Levi's on and Converse. And I had like a black jacket on before. But I'll link it because it's like a really good buy. Um, so yeah. Hello, you lot. So I've gotten ready for the H&M dinner. So I'm wearing my big Alighieri clip, my all my gold jewellery from All Blues, my earrings are All Blues, and then my necklace is Alighieri as usual. I've got a H&M um, kind of knit top tank on. My usual um, stories blazer with a belt that I got from another jacket on. Um, so it's all kind of like tucked in. And then my beautiful Topshop shoes. So legs out, arms covered. Um, oh, this linen skirt is the little re reformation one that I'm obsessed with. So yeah, I thought that was quite nice, smart, but dressed up for the meal. So I'm just having a quick piece of toast because I don't want to ruin my appetite, but I'm starved. And these things always give you wine when you get there. So I'll be bloody smashed by the time dinner comes otherwise. <laughs> it's not good. So yeah, I'm pretty much ready. Car are we here in about 15, so quick piece of toast and we're off to go. Oh, just finally got to Petersham. Literally took like nearly two hours. I think, from what I remember, it's through here. Well, I hope it is anyway. So gorgeous. I mean, who knows, to be honest, I'm in the middle of a garden. Oh, I can hear people, I can hear people. everyone it's Wednesday today I've had a right morning of it already so far <laughs> went to the doctor's this morning and then um because about my neck and I'm gonna get sorted and go and have a scan and see what the hell's going on because it's just still not right but anyway uh did that but then I f forgot my phone so I couldn't pay to park so then I got there I was stuck on the way behind um a recycling truck for 25 minutes so I got there just on time for my uh, appointment but couldn't ring my phone thing through to park so I was like prayed and hoped and prayed and hoped that I didn't get a ticket I didn't in and out in five minutes back up got stuck behind another recycling van on the way back so that was only like 10 minutes though, so it's not too bad and now I'm going to Goulburn Road to meet Luce 
um, for a little bit of lunch. So yeah, it should be nice and calm once I get there. Bloody hell. <laughs> um, today it's gorgeous, it's like 18 degrees, so I've got my hair up. I've got this uh, linen shirt that I showed you that I got from Vestia that's super cool. Um, just a denim skirt from Urban Outfitters, which is really good, so I'll, I'll link that. And some mango slides, which I love. The buckle is amazing on them. I think they're, they're so comfy as well, and they're like 19 quid. So yeah, we're away. Side of sausage roll and scotch egg. So you lot. Well, what an eventful day that's been. Um, it was actually a really nice day, but then just towards the end, oh no, you can see it inside my awful wardrobe. I can never show you that wardrobe. Um, <coughs> basically, me and James had a cinema date to go and see um, a quiet place. Don't know if I told you this before or not. I can't bloody remember what I've said to you. I've been tearing around like a blue arse light all day. Look how tired I look. Oh. Um, so, long story short, I got to the cinema to watch this film that James wanted to watch that I was petrified of seeing because I hate scary films, but he dragged me to it along. I got there to get a text from James. Babe, I'm like stuck at Edgware Road, can't literally been sat on this train for 40 minutes, don't know if I'm going to make it. I was like, what? I was already sat down, drinks, everything. The whole row was completely clear. Everyone seemed to be in seats all around me, but no one was on my row at all. So I was literally like my heart was going like this i was like i don't why am i sat here watching this by myself why am i sat here watching it by myself so i built it up built it up built it up it was so boring it's a quiet place i'm talking about by the way i honestly could have nodded off like it was just so underwhelming and it was about aliens it was just so i just no it wasn't for me but thank god it didn't scare me enough so that i didn't I couldn't go for a wee on my own in the night so yeah, I'm absolutely bloody knackered and I'm going um, on a day out, oh a day and a night actually with Mint Velvet all day tomorrow for like um, proper pamper. So we start with like a face gym place which is amazing facial and then massage maybe, dinner, lunch, catch up, staying at the Mandrake Hotel in London so tomorrow will be so much fun and so lovely and I'm going with Kim so that'll be class to catch up with Kim and yeah really good next couple of days really good got it about date night though James picked me up to after the cinema after my own cinema little viewing on my own um, and uh, I'm like, I won't see him tomorrow won't see him Friday I'll see him Saturday afternoon because we're both dead busy and he's got to go back for a dentist at Ipswich so I'm sulking a bit because we missed date night and um not going to see him until Saturday, which is not the end of the world, it's only two days, but still, because I go on holiday on Sunday, it's my fault. He keeps saying, well, you're the one that's going away. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go and spend some time with him now, so complaining to you lot. And I'm also going to tidy this mess up in my room. And I'm going to pack for mint velvet tomorrow because I literally, my brain won't function. So I'll say in the night now. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday today. I hope you're all alright and you're having a nice day today so far and stuff. Um, I am ready for a change. Uh, I'm just waiting for my car to pick me up to go to um, have this like amazing relaxing day with Mint Velvet. So I've not worked with Mint Velvet before and they reached out and just wanted to kind of like invite me on a day so I could get to know the team and stuff. So I'm like, yeah, why not? Lovely. So, um, so I really must learn that my memory card fills up very quickly. <laughs> it always cuts me off. Um, Christ alive, what was I saying? <sighs> yes, yeah, so I'm just waiting for this car. Going for a day with Mint Velvet, staying at the Mandrake Hotel. I'm going with one of my mates, Kim, who I love. So that's great, because we get to spend some time together. We've got like, a f we're going to the face gym this morning, which is basically a workout for your facial muscles. Um, because again, got it obviously, it's the, in the interest of toning and things. There's one on the King's Road in London. It's basically called face gym. So we're going there first for a little breakfast as well. Then back to the hotel to, uh, to chill on the terrace. Me and Kim are probably gonna shoot some bits. Got my lovely linen reformation dress on that I got when I was in Miami that I've not been able to wear since Miami, which was honestly about six weeks ago. 
um, so I'm buzzing because it's hot. And then, yeah, then the plan is we look at a new spring summer collection and we've got a dinner and just, yeah, proper chill. So I've taken, I've taken some stuff to shoot, like I say. I've got some work to do as well because I've got a blog post to go up tomorrow. So I'll do that. We've got some free time in the room. So I'll just like open windows, chill and write a blog post. But yeah, apart from that, class day, so excited. Got a really exciting day tomorrow as well, like good meetings. And then seeing Megs from Wonderful You, she's coming up for a couple of hours. Then I've got like laser face with the private clinic of Harley Street for end light treatment for my spots, which aren't too bad at the moment. I've just got like hormonal stuff going on here. Then, then what? Oh, then me and Lizzie are doing a, oh, me and Lizzie were reunited yesterday, but I was so excited to see her. Sorry, I've got something in my hand. Um, so excited to see that I just didn't even bother getting my cameras out obviously you don't need to see my whole life documented but yeah can't wait we've got mindfulness class tomorrow night and um, so I can't bloody wait to see you I think my car's here hello everyone haven't even vlogged yet because we've had such a morning of it I look like utter crap we've had facial and we've meditated and all my spots are out but we feel very zen Kim's just in the in the mirror in the uh oh should I check my hair at club home? oh yeah that's it <laughs> luscious luscious so we've just checked into the Mandrake Hotel and Kim, me and Kim are just in the same room just while she gets ready because hers isn't ready yet and um, so it's lovely and it actually doesn't even look like we're in London out there look how pretty it is it's like a massive botanical garden so we've got like drinks and lunch on the terrace now so we're just putting our faces on because we both need to shoot a bit and then um we'll be ready but it's 28 degrees to be honest so we're not comfortable are we <laughs> oh lunch so much cheese <laughs> ah. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Friday today, um, I hope you're all alright and you've had a nice day so far, it's about, what time is it, like maybe half one-ish, and I'm just home now, just tucked my hair up in the scrunchie because I'm so hot, oh my god, um, I just wanted to show you a couple of things as well, so this necklace is from Tillis Vias, I think that's how you say her name, but you know what I'm like on my pronunciations, so I'll put a link on it um for you but she makes really cool like heavy gold chains and bracelets and rings and she does silver too but you know i'm like for my gold so there's that and also my dress so my dress is from um rouge which is uh gian damas's brand and she's this really cool chic french lady um and yeah i really like it so it's got like i mean there's gonna be loads of these knocking about because it's like the dream dress and um, little puff sleeves at v neck button side and then it goes through and ties at the back and then lengthwise on me it's probably well it's just past my knees but it's got a big split in which actually is quite problematic when you're walking down the street because everyone can see your knickers but it's fine i think i'm missing a button to be honest um so yeah really pretty just a nice light and i've just been wearing it with trainers um so it's less way less girly for me um so yeah that's it really oh my flowers are dead look at these how pretty are they Stolen from the H&M dinner. Not stolen, given to. Um, so yeah, all good in the hood today. I'm gonna do this work and I've got loads of work to do. It's beautiful, it's a shame, but it'll make me feel better if I do some work. Then, had a really good meeting this morning, which is exciting. And meeting Lizzie in a bit, we're going to this man mindfulness class. And I'm actually going to the private clinic to get laser face done. Bzz, 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 get rid of my spots. So yeah. That is all that is happening today. James is in Ipswich. He's had his braces off, so he's absolutely buzzing. Um, so I rang him to tell him my good news. He was like, hang on a minute. I've got something to tell you. I was like, what, 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 what? He's like, I've got my braces off. So he had his bottom ones off at the same time as I arrived off last year. And then his top ones were taking ages to move. And they just went today and they were like, you, you ready? And he was like, it's so weird. Because he's had them for like nearly two years. And I'd, I've never, we've been together 18 months and I've never seen him without them. So I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to see you tomorrow without your braces on. So that's lovely. Let's get his way, and so I'm just gonna have a really chill night tonight. So see Lizzie for a bit, and I'll probably just be on my sofa there and I'll watch a film. <laughs> but I'll take you along with me where I can today. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday today. I'm uh, guessing for forgot to take the vlog camera for the rest of the day yesterday. Me. So sorry, it's very boring me coming from my. Oh my god, look at the blossom outside my window. Yes, it's another hot one today in London. So um, I am all on Hoddley Prep. 
That was well close, wasn't it? <laughs> um, I'm all on holiday prep today, so I'm gonna go see Catherine go at Baby Gray for an hour or so. But first, I've got a mani pedi, um, and then I'll come back. No, then I'll see them, then I'll come back, and then James is back. Um, because I'm going to Cyprus tomorrow with Jigsaw and Lizzie and Kim and Erica Davis and Kat from Does My Bum Look 40, who I met actually on the trip to Mint Velvet, and she's amazing. I thought she was fab. So, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. And it kind of makes you like more excited to go on holiday when you're in the sun because you're like, oh my god, I've just got more of this coming. And like London in the sun is just so good, and the vibe is just so lovely when everyone's happy and I've got a bit of vitamin D. So I've just put like a little layer of you can't even see it, I don't know why I'm showing you that. It's just tinted like a tinted soft glow moisturizer, the Garnier one. Just so I'm not shockingly pale in my bikini because I've Last time I was away was Miami, and that's like six weeks ago or something. So yeah, really nice day ahead. Can't wait for James to get back. I've missed him. He's, I've not seen him since Thursday, which is like well soft, isn't it? I'm aware of that. Um, but I think it's because I'm actually going away tomorrow as well for like four days. I'm like, oh no, I don't get much time with you. So we've got a plan for Rosé and like hanging out. So yeah, I'll take you along today. Um, just going for this Manny Petty now, and then yeah, catch up with you in a bit. Hope you're all alright. A skirt to my peddy. So I'd have to get a towel. Just hope we keep calm like this for a while. Hello everyone. So I'm all packed. I think I'm all packed. Um it's three nights. <laughs> I've got a two week suitcase there. Accessories and everything there. Oh, that's mine. Yeah, your big. My big case. Here. Got another one. That. Oh, got another one. Thank you. Right. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Are you sure? Thank, Thank you very you. much. into my bedroom oh my god it looks so rough this is plain Lindsay um it's absolutely gorgeous like I feel well well lucky to be here I'm just so excited and oh, that's loud um so basically last time I was in Paphos was my family holiday with mum dad and my brother 11 years ago we've worked out between us all um, and as we we're driving in I was like I literally don't remember anything about Paphos at all we're in Cyprus by the way with Jigsaw um and we drove past this bar called Pegasus and I was like, oh my God. There's two, one called Felix and one called Pegasus. They're still here 11 years later and me, mum, dad and Matt used to just bar hop from one to the other every single night. And I'm like, I feel really like nostalgic and buzzing to be here, not only just because I'm with my friends and with Jigsaw, but like, oh, my family stuff like that we did when we were here as so. well. Um, so yeah, I'll show you my room really quick. Uh, so it's just like, oh, it's just really cool, minimal, beautiful. Um, came in, we've just all ordered loads of food at the bar and there's this massive box of food here for me but I'm just, gonna, I'm too full now. Um, I'll show you tomorrow like what it looks like outside but just really chic and cool. My mess on the bed as usual. Lovely bathroom. I've had a rosé in case you couldn't tell that as well. Um, and we got into the room and Jigsaw, they're such a dream, Jesus. We've got a towel, pyjamas, face mask, lip balm with SPF, an Aesop London case with everything we'll need. Um, oh, what's this? Oh, oh, a hair turban to keep mum having a wash and stuff. Our beach bag and an Urban Lido, Lido kit. So we've got shampoo, body wash, body oil, swimming cap, wet bag and hair bands. They've just literally actually absolutely spoiled us. And look at the size of this mirror, which will be good for outfit photos. <laughs> Hello guys. Um, oh my God, I'm so tired. There's two hour time differences mega like it's eight o'clock but really it's six o'clock <laughs> don't i don't normally see six o'clock 
um, everything. Oh, there's a cat down there. I just wanted to say um, thank you so much for watching this week. Obviously, I've arrived in Cyprus and last night and I forgot to sign it off. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all okay. And next week, obviously, I'll be in Cyprus on the vlog. Um, so yeah, have a class day. Thank you, bye.